me, it was all about representation. Um, and I have two boys and, you know, I have not seen a lot of shows where, I mean, I haven't seen shows in a while where I can sit down and actually watch a show with them um, and have the discussions. And I think what the crossover does really well is it, it, it shows that you can actually communicate with your kids and the kids can communicate to you. Crossover premieres on Disney Plus on April 5th. Um, I got a chance to watch the first few episodes. I really enjoyed it. But what can fans expect from the series? Uh, I'm every, I, a, a little bit of everything. There's there's yeah. comedy, there's drama, there's love, there's laughter, um, and life lessons, uh, and and all of that under uh, without ever being heavy handed. I think our ultimate goal with the crossover was to make something entertaining, and um, I'm glad to hear that you enjoyed it. Oh, of course. Yeah. I, I I think everything you said there, I completely agree with that. It's a little bit of everything. But Kwame, this question is specifically for you. Obviously, the crossover is based on the book that you've written. Um, so how is the book and the series? Um, what are some of the differences between uh, the book and the series? The book is about basketball and friendship and family and poetry and it's layered with sort of all these different elements to create this coming of age story about these boys who are crossing over. We took the spirit of that and created a show around it. Yeah. So naturally, you know, we're in season one, you know, if God is willing and the creek don't rise and we're in season two and three, we've got to expand and extend the narrative and the storytelling and the characters. So you're gonna see a lot of new things, a lot of different things over the course of this journey of these boys. But we feel like we kept the spirit of the book um, in every episode. So yeah, that would be, I think the difference. Absolutely, and Kimberly, Kimberly, I wanna ask you this. Uh, the crossover is obviously a great uh, story about basketball and family, but Ultimately, what made you want to be part of the series? For me, it was all about representation. Um, yeah. And I have two boys and, you know, I have not seen a lot of shows where, I mean, I haven't seen shows in a while where I can sit down and actually watch a show with them um, and have the discussions. And I think what the crossover does really well is it, it, it shows that you can actually communicate with your kids and the kids can communicate to you. And um for me, it was all about representation and, and be able to have a show that I'm a part of that not only can see a reflection of my kids and you know my family, but also for them, for us to be able to see something together. Of course. And, and this question is for all of you. Um, one of the things that stood out with me when it comes to the crossover is the cast. I really enjoyed their performances. I've been a fan of Derek Luke for years. Uh, Jalen, I've seen his work on All American. So how is it working with the cast throughout this throughout the first season. Phenomenal um, yeah. in so many ways. I, I think we talk a lot about it and, and I, we just, we were extremely lucky, extremely fortunate that we found not just Derek and, and Sabrina, but every single member, Jalen, Amir, Trevor, Deja, Skyler, like they embodied exactly what we were looking for, both um, on and off camp. Um, they're incredible people. And we we were just extremely lucky to get them all. Of course, and and Kwame, you uh, kind of mentioned this about you know the crossover expanding to possibly season two, season three. Um, obviously, it hasn't been renewed for those seasons. But do you guys already have plans for those seasons if they do if the series does get renewed? I could tell you that, but then I'd have to kill you. <laughs> of course, um, <laughs> I will. I will say this. Um, I, there's a prequel to the crossover called Rebound. Um, so, you yeah. know, that, bo that book was published in 2018. So certainly there are a lot of stories. There are a lot of different exits that we're, that we plan to take on this highway, on this journey to these boys becoming young men. So I think there's a plethora of ideas and hopes and dreams. And we, we definitely hope you know, Damani and Kim and I to to get the opportunity to explore them for sure. Well, look, 
Absolutely. I'm looking forward to it. It does get renewed and there's a prequel. So that's going to be awesome. So Kimberly, Kwame, Damani, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. Congratulations on the show and continued success to all three of you. Thank you.